Part four is changing the object properties. That's the last part of this assignment. It talks about the swatches and the strokes. Let's create a new frame. You can use whatever shape you want. I'm gonna do rectangle this time. You can go to your swatches palette and you can choose whatever color fill you want. Or you can fill it with another picture by file place. It also wants you to go window stroke. And the stroke palette allows you to add a color stroke to it. Mine was red. I want to change that color to black. So you switch back and forth. You got your fill, you got your stroke, whatever's in front is the one you're changing. But you can increase the weight. You can also change where you align the stroke on the inside, outside, or stroke to center. You can also choose what type of stroke. You can have dots, you can have wavy, hashes. So these are different decorative options. You're going to need this on the next assignment to work on. You can do dashes, triple line like a frame. There's different options. You can do a rounded corners or squared corners, bevel. Look at the different options. You can do an arrow. Add a stroke to it. You can choose a different color. Play around with that. You can place a picture in there. If I want to change the inside, I'm going to deselect it. I'm going to ch choose fill, select it, and I'm going to choose a different color for fill. If you switch back to st stroke, it does that. If you want to change the fill, you choose that, and you can change the fill color. So when you're done, be sure you got all four of these, because if you don't miss one, I'm going to count 25 points off. That's a 75 just for missing one. You've done all four of creating a path, altering a shape, an effect of a path, placing an object, and changing the object properties. It's all four in one document, and we're going to save it. So we're going to go File, Save As. You're going to go to your Documents, Fifth Six Weeks. And you're going to put your period, 1A, for this class, your last name, first initial, underscore, InDesign1, just like the directions say. Be sure to put your last name, like I would put Core CD for me. Save it in your fifth, six weeks folder. When it's time to turn it in, you need to close this because people are turning stuff in with the file open and it corrupts the file. So be sure you close that. Then you go find it in your documents folder, fifth, six weeks, and here it is. You just drag it into your Dropbox, but make sure it's closed in InDesign before you do that. And that's an easy grade. Thank you all for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.